Lesson 14. <laughs> He's so stupid. In this lesson, we will learn how to create uh, these speakers on the both sides and also how to create a frame around these speakers. Apart from that, how we can create this panel here for the FM radio frequency. So let's start creating uh, the speakers like I showed you and the panel here. Okay, so now as we have studied in the uh, our resolution and voxels class, that no matter how higher you have your resolution, but if the size is smaller, you will have difficulty to work on. But if the size is smaller of your uh, of your tool, it uh, like it, you can easily work on it. So that's what we will do here. I will take my clay tool, okay, move it outwards, make it black a little bit, make it uh, make a sphere, and I will make it bigger, okay, and I will make sure it have a good resolution, okay. And apart from that, I what I will do is that I will make a new layer, and inside the new layer, I will press spacebar. So once the spacebar is being created, okay, yes, one more thing. Let's uh, before uh, making it uh, a clay tool, let's undo this. But before making this clay tool, I can squeeze it. Okay, otherwise I won't be able to squeeze it. Then I have to use the warp tool, which will which will take a lot of time. So I will squeeze it, then I will press space bar. Okay. And then I will move this down, go to my erase tool, and then I will erase this. Okay. What the erase tool will do, it will create up like a gap here down. Okay like a whole sort of thing. So you cannot see it right now because it's all black, okay? So what I will do here is that now, if you will see these uh, rigid edges, I will try to remove this by uh, erase tool. I will change the erase tool to cuboid, okay? And then I will move this uh, up here and then press spacebar. And now you can see that it's all clear. Okay, now I will make the holes just like uh, you have seen uh, in the well, my the, like uh, in the beginning of this lesson. So I will take my uh, like cylinder, click it again, uh, reset the ori orientation so it will go in the middle. Okay, and then I will try to make it a little taller. Okay, and first of all, let's make the radius of it smaller so I can have small holes here. And then I will make it longer like this. Okay, so once this is done, what I will do here is that I will right click on it, turn on the radial symmetry, okay, keep it five. And then I will move it down. And if you will see that, uh, okay, before moving it down, let's put it here, press space bar. Then I will move it down. So at least I have one in the middle. Okay. So when I move it down, so you will notice that it is uh, creating the uh, like a uh, five, like uh, around five there are. If I right click here, increase it to six. Okay. So you will notice that the space between uh, uh, like these two gap, uh, like these two holes and these two are now uh, like kind of same. So now I will keep on adding six to my model. So space bar here, okay, move it to the same distance, right click on it. So now 12, okay, space bar, move it outwards here again, right click. Okay, so 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, and now I will press spacebar again. Move it out again with the same gap. Right click here. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Okay, so 
spacebar. Okay. Outside here, right click again. Then 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. So spacebar again and then outwards with the same distance. Okay. Now right click here, then 36. Okay. Spacebar. Okay, outward again here, then right click again, then 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, and then spacebar, out again, okay, and then I will right click again, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and then spacebar again, out, this is I think the last time. So right click on it, 49 for this, uh, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, and then base bar. So we are done. Okay. So you can see that we have a really nice uh, gaps here. So what I will do, I will now right click here, turn off the symmetry. Okay. And uh, reset its orientation. So I will now make a frame just like uh, you have seen before. Uh, with the same cylinder, I can make the cylinder, change its color to a lighter color, something like this. Make the size bigger. Also, I will make the size smaller here, like a shorter. And I will add a thickness to it, which will give a, a sort of a frame, frame-like feeling here. Okay. And one more thing you can do here is that you can play with the taper. So we can have this sort of a taper here, like a sharp taper. And if I'm creating a taper sharper, so I can also make it shorter here, just like this. Okay, once I'm done with the tapering this, I can move it up here somewhere. Okay, and I will make sure I will add a new layer. I have added a new layer, but before doing that, let's this give it a little gray color because it's too white for it. Okay, now I will what I will do here is that I will add. Let's see, uh, the resolution is fine, and now I will add a new layer and then space uh, press space bar. Now once you will uh, press space bar, I want this end of the uh, of this. Um, frame longer so i will go to the uh, i will go to my uh, i will go to the warp tool take the uh, like a cuboid one and placing okay resets the orientation uh, orientation two times so that it will go like come back here and then make it bigger here okay just move it away, otherwise it will start affecting the other areas as well. No hardness, or like sorry, 100% uh, hardness so that it can, without any smoothness, it can move, uh, it can just reshape this uh, edge of it down. Okay, it's a little bit. So I'll press spacebar, move it down, and you can see how it has created it. So once this is done, I will go back here and I will take these two, press control and pass rotate it by pressing this. Done. So what I will do here is that I will take these two uh, and I will reduce the size of it. Oops. Push, oops. What am I doing? Push it in, inside here, up here, make it a little bit more smaller, and I can right click here and turn on the repetition. So when I will turn on the repetition, it will start repeating both of them because I, ha I have selected both of them and then I applied the repetition to it. They are not uh, in a group, otherwise if I will ungroup it, the repetition will be gone. So that's why I don't want to make them as a group. So I will just 
use them uh, both of them together and then apply repetition so as there are only two of them so it's not a big issue it won't be a big issue so i can push this in something like this okay and now what i can do is that i can deselect select only the speaker press merge so they will become like a one object so there is no repetition or uh, like a uh, repetition on it there is a symmetry but i will turn off the symmetry for it because i don't want to work on the symmetry anymore uh as well the frame merge done i will take this as well right click and turn on the like and turn off the symmetry of this i can turn it off from here as well so now this is ready okay now it's time to create the uh panel here so what i will do here uh, first of all i will make sure that this is double clicked so i can work on this only so i will go to my erase tool okay the uh, reset the orientation of it plus i have to rotate it back to normal take my square tool press it to press it twice so that it will reset it how it looks like and move it outwards now what i will do here is that i will make sure that this is small enough and it should be somewhere here i will give it a taper oh sorry fillet and roundness okay and i will put it kind of this deeper now i have to increase the size of it the sideways so once this is done i will go to my split tool and i will press spacebar to create a split out of it once the split is created i will go to the select tool take this part move it outward and you can see that there is a nice split but i don't want this to be a complete uh tool just like as you see here i want this to be like a glass you know uh like on the boombox radios you have a fm uh, like frequency panel here where everything is uh, like written there about the frequency okay and then here you have a glass which is covering it uh, like a plastic glass like like a plastic transparent plastic basically so that's what i have to create so i will move this outward go to my uh, erase tool okay reese uh, i will reduce the roundness and the fillet to make it more or sharper okay and then simply what i will do here is that i will just go till here let's press space bar so this is a good size of it so i will duplicate this uh, also why because this duplicated one okay let's change the color of it uh will be uh kind of a uh like a full like, for the label so if you're using adobe substance uh, painter so you can apply the label on this part okay and once this is applied on it you can uh, like place the glass over it so this will be the label it will be easier for you to, uh, to apply on this in adobe substance 3d painter if you're using and on my channel you can find the complete course on that so i will take this okay and if you want to make it more thinner you can do that but i will keep it as it is right now and i will use a white color to paint on this one let's increase the size of the brush okay now i will take this as well and put it somewhere here So I hope you have understood about uh, how to create the speakers and the panels here uh, for the uh, FM frequency. In the next lesson, we will now learn how we can uh, make the front speakers and uh, the audio cassette player here. And uh, underneath, we will put the counter because in the old, like let, uh, retro. Um, like a boom boxes we used to have counter that shows like how much uh it has been played because everything was more like a 
analog at that time in the 80s or early 90s. If you find my videos interesting and useful, then please click the like button and click on the bell icon to receive notifications about my new tutorials and courses. If you are watching my videos and have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe it now and share it with your friends so they can also subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Discord, and Amazon.com. The links are given in the description below. In the end, I would like to request that please watch my videos online and do not download them because this will affect my watch time hours, which is quite demotivating for me. And uh, if you want me to create, continuously create these new courses, so please subscribe to my channel and watch all my videos online. Also like them and share them. So everyone take care, stay connected and see you in the next class.